grade lesson 72. This one is on area part one. All right. First thing I want you to do is draw on your piece of paper a rectangle. And what we're going to talk about today, and this is kind of cool, you could actually help your mom out. If you were wanting to take, um, let's say, for example, a patio outside or inside your bathroom and you were getting new tile floorings, this would come in really handy. You could actually tell your mom how many tiles she needed to figure out how much she would need to fill up the whole patio or the whole bathroom by learning area. Okay, so I want you to write down the word area. Okay, and area always does two dimensions. Okay? okay, we as people are what dimensions? We're 3D, right? 3D, yeah. We have length, width, and height. So, um, how long I am, how high I am, and how wide I am, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, so. But when you're talking about a piece of swipe that covers, does it have any height? No. No. You're just learning length and width, right? Yeah. So what area actually equals is length times width. You need to know that, okay? L times W, which stands for length times width. That's what area means. So if I told you to find the area, you should have something going off in your mind going, okay, I'm going to find the length and the width of something and multiply it. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to see is let's just pretend we were in the bathroom. About how many feet long do you think our bathroom is? Just pretend in your head. Would you be able to lay daddy down all in it? Maybe eight. Maybe eight feet? Okay. Seven, eight. So I'm going to say it's eight feet long. All right? And then how wide is it from the door to the back of the wall? Approximately how many feet? Four. Four feet? I would say that's a really good guess. Okay? So I want you to watch how I'm going to do this, Eli. Okay? That would be like me having eight tiles going this way because each tile is a foot long. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so it'd be like I'm having um, one foot, two foot, three foot, four foot, five foot, six foot, seven foot, eight foot. So I'd have eight square tiles going this way. Yeah. Okay? But then I'm also going that way, or from the door to the other way, four tiles. Do you understand? Yes. So watch, there's an easy way to discover this. All right? So you see this eight? So that's what I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw eight of these going this way. Okay, so wherever you see the eight, so watch what I do. I'm going to draw a halfway point. And then I know I need four of them in between that. One, two, three, four. See that? Okay, that's close. <laughs> Just pretend like they're equal. All right, and so then there's my four foot. So watch what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four. You see that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so do I have eight tiles going this way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And do I have four tiles going this way? One, yes. two, three, four. Okay, we've done it right. So how much does that equal? How many tiles am I going to end up needing? Well, my area is length times width. So my length is eight and my width is four. 8 times 4 is 32. Hmm. So, I should have 32. If I counted these tiles, it would be 32. So, you'd say, hey, Mom, let's go to the store and buy 32 tiles to put into the bathroom. So, you'd go and buy 32 tiles, and you would make, you would, that would mean you made sure that you had enough to cover the entire bathroom floor. Isn't that cool? Uh -huh. But you would actually measure it. Like, you would go in with a, a measuring tape yeah. and measure. And you always want to go over. So if it was 7 foot 5 inches, you want to round and say it's 8 foot. Yeah. So that so you, can, you can only buy them in foot amounts. You can't buy halves. Mean, right. Yeah. You can cut them into halves or whatever. But you have to buy them. So how many tiles would I need to buy? 32. Very good. So this would be considered there 32 square foot tiles. 
There are 32 square foot tiles is what they call because each foot is a foot going this way and a foot going this way. So it's called a square foot. Yeah. It's not just a foot going this way. It's also a foot going this way, which make a square. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So area, the answer is always in square foot. Yeah. And I'm going to teach you how you write that. 32. You can just put square foot, but as you get older, 32 feet, and then you put this little two on top of the foot, which still means foot squares because there's two measurements. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Length and width. Yeah. You, it's yeah. not necessary that you fully understand this. Yeah. I get okay. It. But you will as, as you get older. You got it? Yeah. So how do I find area of something? You measure the length and width. Very good. And how do I write the answer? Is it just 32 feet? What do you mean? The answer? 32? 32. Which one would be the right way? 32 feet or 32 square feet? Probably 20, 32 square foot. Very good. This one is the correct way to write it because this just says that I have 32 long. Yeah. It's not a square. That wouldn't be. No, that wouldn't be right. That would be like if I was measuring a piece of excuse me, a board, and I needed 30, 32 feet of board, that would be the right way to write it. I need 32 long board, of, like thir 32 feet of a board. Yeah. This one is a square foot, which means it's not only length, it's, it's also width. Got yeah. it? Okay. So, the answer, this is the correct way to write it, and you have to make sure that you're adding that part because the tiles aren't just long, they're also wide. To make it up so each of these is a square foot yeah it's a foot this way and a foot this way so it mm -hmm. makes a square foot not really a square foot yeah. <laughs> okay you got it so okay. what's the most important thing to remember when you're working with area how do you write your answer uh square foot very good not just foot square foot very good okay now tell me if you can figure out the answer on this one the I N is for inches. How many tiles, one inch tiles, would I'm going to need to fill up this space? What do you mean? Like, what is count the area? Okay. Okay. Now remember, what does area mean? Like the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. So what's the formula for area? Area equals a uh, square foot. Yes, very good. But I'm talking about what is the formula? I didn't tell you that Length was called a formula. Width. That's the formula. The formula, which is very good for you to know, for area is length times width. So how am I going to figure out what the answer is? Uh, you add the three twice and the two twice. Okay, sort of. So stay with me. Do you remember how we did the last one? No. Okay, really let's draw it. Remember how we used those drawings, the illustrations? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have... I know what you mean now. Yeah. I one, two, it. three, and then two on this side. One, two. Which makes how many tiles? Ten. When out. Would that be right? Count them. How many tiles? Six. Six. I get Okay, so how would you get that? I don't actually have to draw. Okay? Yeah. Because this information that I have on the outside tells me enough. Okay? Uh -huh. We also know that this is three inches and this is two inches, but do I need those? No. No, because that was if I was trying to find the perimeter. I'm not yeah. trying to find the perimeter. So I only actually need two of those just to know what the length is from here to here and what the width is from here to here. So if I were to put in the formula for area is length times width, length is three times the width is two, my answer would be length uh six six square foot. Six square, and this time we're doing inches. So we would say six square inches. Okay? Okay. Feel like you got it? Yeah. Let's try one more. And this one's gonna be a little bit harder, not real hard, but just bigger numbers. Okay? So let's say we are measuring this room, Eli. 
and we are going to put tile flooring in it. And I asked you how many feet of tile we're going to need, how many square feet of tile we're going to need. Okay, so help me figure this one out. Let's pretend that our living room is 14 feet from this spot all the way to where Toby is. Okay, that's the part we are going to fill. And we're just guessing, I'm just guessing, right? No, I'm, I'm going to actually give you some numbers. If you want to, you can guess. Oh, no, no, you can do it. Okay, so let's just say it's 14 feet. Okay? Okay. That'd be, well, it's actually way bigger than that. It's probably two of those, two 14 foots. So, um, okay, so let's say that one side is 14 feet, and then from this wall to the other wall, let's pretend is 13 feet. Okay? Now, mm -hmm. I could draw 14 of these lines and 13 of these to figure out and then count them in the middle, but what's the easier way to find area? We just uh, visualize it and then count them. You don't have to do that. You don't? No. Nope. What is the formula for area? Area equals width, length, width, length times width. 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 Right. Okay, this is my length. Okay. This 14 is, uh -huh, times 14 13. Times 13. This is my width. Very good. So let's perform that. 14 times 13. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. Then I'm going to take this one. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. And I don't need that one for that one. Okay. So I'm going to fill that in with 0. So I'm just doing a really quick math. How many tiles do I need to fill this floor? 182. 182 what? Tiles. Or square foot? Square. And we're looking at feet. Foot. Very good. Okay. Got it? Yep. All right. That is lesson 72.